So the question came up, how can I use Luminar Flex inside of Lightroom, the new Lightroom? Well, you kind of can do it, and here's the issue. Adobe chose not to include plugin support inside of the new Lightroom, but with Lightroom, you also have Photoshop in most cases, and they do support this workflow. So what you can do is click on the More button here and choose Edit in Photoshop. What this is going to do is send the image over to Adobe Photoshop and transfer all of your raw settings with the image. So this takes the file and does a clean handoff. In this case, it took the image with all of my Lightroom settings applied and created a high quality 16-bit TIFF. Now, what I would suggest is convert for smart filters. This means that you can run filters non-destructively and gives you a little bit more flexibility if you want to make a tweak or an edit. Now, apply Luminar Flex. Now, the first thing I suggest is take advantage of the Image Aware workspace so you can quickly enhance things. Accent AI is great for using machine learning to fix the color and tone. And you can take advantage of other options here, such as Golden Hour, to bring out the rich gold tones. And I'll do a little bit of advanced contrast to really dial this in. Now, to go to the next level, I suggest you just add another adjustment layer. Then, pick another workspace, such as Relight and Color. Now what I'm going to do is some split color warmth and just warm up the warm tones and cool down the cool tones a little bit to dial that in. I'll put a little bit of a soft glow in here. Bring out the warmth. And let's use the adjustable gradient, but adjust it here so it's more at an angle so we can get a little bit of fall off. And this makes it easy to darken down the one side of the photo to really pull our attention over here. And we can finish this off with a great vignette. I'll place the center on the photo and dial in the shape and feather, and then tweak the amount. I really like that. Now I'll add one more adjustment layer, and I can easily take advantage of great presets. Now I'm just going to choose another one here, and I'm going to go to black and white film emulation. We'll let some of those load in really quick. And with one click, I can choose different styles. And I can find just the one I want, and then adjust the strength slider to dial that in, or make other tweaks or changes. But I like this, a really rich black and white image. Now, let me click Apply, and it sends the change back. You'll see that it updates, and I can close and save the document. Now, let's switch back to Lightroom. What you'll see is that the new image is automatically added into your library. And in fact, those images are stacked together so you can see both versions, the original and the one that you modified. This makes it really easy to enhance and that you can take advantage of Illuminar and quickly add things right back in. And what's pretty cool is this. If I decide to, I can choose to reselect this and select Edit in Photoshop. You'll notice that it opens up, and in fact, the Smart Object Support means I can double click. The filter will open up exactly where you left off. So maybe I change my mind about this black and white adjustment, and instead, I want to switch to something more dramatic. Let's go with a cool analog look here. And I'll get some older film styles for color film. And I can click to choose the option that I want. I like this one here, a very classic feeling. So I'll choose Apply. And it will update. And send it back to Photoshop. There we go, nice and fast. Close and save. And let's switch back to Lightroom. And what you'll see here is that it brings it in and gives you another version. So this makes it super easy to work non-destructively and to come up with alternate mixes or enhanced images very quickly and keep them organized along with the original inside of the new Lightroom. 
So it is possible to use Luminar Flex with Lightroom and with the power of smart objects, there's a lot you can get done. Adobe Lightroom does not support plugins directly inside of it, but Adobe chose to allow you the ability to edit in Photoshop. And with this simple command, third-party filters are just one click away and you get this great non-destructive workflow.